Hello everyone and welcome to Wilson for All. Today we have young and dynamic technical engineer Mr. Amit Margit has with us. He did his B.Tech in Electronics and Communication from Delhi Technological University, commonly known as BT, and he enrolled in Wilson for All. Now he is placed in ST Microtronics as the digital design engineer. I am very happy that our team helped him in many ways to get him placed. So Amit, thank you for doing this and can please introduce yourself to the audience. Uh, thank you, Vishal. Thank you. Uh, thank you so much for having me. And uh, so about my basic interest. So recently, uh, around two months back, I joined ST Microelectronics as a digital design engineer, and I have graduated from Delhi, Techn Delhi Technological University in two thousand twenty-two. And uh, I did my schooling uh, from Delhi itself, and uh, so that was pretty much about my uh, education. And uh, let's see what uh, I will be doing uh, like further in my life. Sir, you uh, you get into the GDU. So how is the college life and the and the environment towards the electronics and communication department? So I did, and uh, so I got uh, electronics and communication branch uh, in DTU in two thousand eighteen. Mm -hmm. So like. Yeah, about the electronics branch, it was well, like pretty good. All professors and uh, everyone, teachers are very helpful and uh, very knowledgeable. And uh, yeah, like and uh, like, I enjoyed uh, my B Tech uh, in first year. I made a couple of friends. Actually, in first year, uh, what they do is they combine. Uh, they they do not specify your branch with your role number. They just uh, include other branches students also. So they used they used to collaborate collab collab other branches so that you can make uh, other friends also in first year so in after first year uh, like you got separated and you only your specific branch student uh, you will be sitting with them so after second year i, I was like, really focused to like we have to decide in which field we, we want to choose either software or in core electronics or other consulting so i was like i, I was pretty much confused in second year but after my fourth semester or around at the end of third semester, I made up my mind that I will be like, I have to join like a VLSI industry. I want to be, I want to do something related to core electronics. I don't want to do programming. So I started with preparing some uh, like a uh, gate. I started, I have heard about the gate. If you are good, if, if my, my seniors are also like those who are placed in like big companies, they are also they also said that if you are good if you can crack gate uh, if you are understanding gate level questions you can easily uh, crack a, a, a technical interviews of a core profile so i started preparing around four semester of gate and uh, so that actually helped me a lot uh, in uh, in cracking those interviews also so, it was all about my college life. Okay. Sir, you prepare for the gate and you switch to the VSI core private industry job. So, how much tough is that? Because you initially stated that you didn't want to go into coding, but the digital design engineers include the very log and other other stuff. So, how you prepare your mind? Keep your mind to not go for masters and go for the private job. Uh, sorry, Michelle, your voice break. I, I mean, I'm right. an audible. Yet now it is. I I I, told, I, I, I my, my question is that uh, first you started with the code and first you started with the gate preparation and uh, and in, in, you stated you you stated that uh, you don't don't want to go into the coding sector, but uh, digital design includes the Verilog and other other coding languages. So how you prepare your mind to not go for masters or MS, uh, either in India or abroad and uh, and uh, going for the private com uh, core companies job. Uh, so like in first year also we do like basic programming c++ uh, which is included in our curriculum also so it is not like we have to like be hardcore programming or you need to be good at data structure or something like you, you don't need to, to be uh, be good at uh, like very very long it's like very simple so similar to c++ so you need to just be good at uh, syntax or just you you are if you can apply a simple logics you can you can be master in very long so it is like it is a hardware description like you know so you are basically 
saying in terms of language that I want to do this in terms of hardware. So it was not basically uh, what I will do is uh, I'll say uh, you can so say your question is why uh, you, you said why I, I did not choose to go for MS or MTech. So basically the point is I started with my mindset that I want to crack four companies. Right? I don't want to do and I want to go for, for further uh, uh, further education. My first priority is to be in a core company doing our some related correlated profile. I want to do correlated job. So that was my primary purpose. I have not uh, like uh, think about uh, uh, for doing uh, maybe in uh, for, uh, further I can do for masters, but uh, as long but uh, now I am not prepared for for M Tech or MS. Okay. So, uh, and comparatively, you got your job offer from the on campus or, or off campus? Yeah, I got offer on on campus. So, how much CGP category matters in the colleges? Oh, uh, CGP. I, but personally speaking, CGP matters a lot when you are when uh, in starting phase of uh, placement. Uh, companies do shortlist. Uh, students with having a greater CGPA. So I believe if you are maintaining CGP as high as possible, above eight is good, but uh, you should not go be below seven to be placed in core company. So seven is the minimum, but if you could maintain a CGPA higher than eight, that will be good. Okay. So sir, when did you hear about the Vilsa for all I mean, this initiative for getting placed? Okay. And like the, the process of all this? Uh, VLSI for all, I guess I came to know about in my fourth year when I was looking for VLSI related uh, material or VLSI related coaching. So I guess I watched uh, some of the interviews. I guess I I used to watch interviews of uh, like those students who got placed in while doing M Tech. So I used to watch those interviews and uh, like uh, I came to know about that uh, in fourth year of uh, my college. About VLSI for all. Then, uh, sir, uh, which course you join and how is the process, complete process of, of you know, making the notes from the videos and the, uh, um, and questioning the, the, the questioning the way they, they all the mentors did. Sorry, your voice is also. I, my question is that uh, which courses you join and uh, how much time you give, uh, how much time you invest in this? Uh, like I joined. Uh, uh, for RTL and uh, premium RTL verification batch I joined and uh, I used to study as much as I, I, I could because uh, like after evening after like 8 p.m. I used to dedicate around three to four year every day uh, but uh, I am still like uh, uh, watching those videos of uh, but uh, now because I have joined company so uh, I will I do not have much time left today so I do watch them on weekend okay sir so, and, and uh, regarding other than this like uh, uh, courses also provide some of the project then a project to be so that you can project so that, you, that you can include it in your resume so how how this how all this project helps you in, in, in the resume shortlisting Actually, after CGPA criteria, you need to be your resume need to be strong. So you should include those uh, those projects who are related to the profile. So like if uh, this company is uh, are coming for uh, like digital profile, you need to include projects related to like very long projects related to uh, VHDL coding or these related projects will definitely. Like a style. if you include these project in your profile, your CV will really stand out. So, according uh, so related to which profile company is coming, you need to include those uh, top uh, projects also. Okay, sir, you stated that you you started this and you started this course and or, or you have you want to go in the in the VLSI sector starting from the second year, second year of your, of your BTEC. Like you have a mind to go into the sector. So, uh. So, sir, the skills you gain, typically, ideally, how much time does it take to for a for a fresher or a beginner? 
uh, how much does it take for two crack word? Uh, like, to, uh, to, to gain the skills. Games. To gain the skills. We are coming to the next question. No, my question just for the skills. Okay, skill. I believe uh, if you are uh, like very long is also included in your semesters. So if you do, if you prepare well, if you studied well in your semester also, then after that you, I don't think it will take more than uh, two months. Within two months, you can uh, like uh, uh, you can be a master's in very log or related. Yes. Sir, the the, okay, sir. So the courses also provide the you know, mock interview experience. So and when you when you give your real interview experience, how much is it different from all the how much is the, there's a similarity in both of them? Uh, like actually, I do not uh, give uh, mock interviews. I actually, uh, I actually gave many interviews on campus. <laughs> so, like, around uh, I was reject, uh, rejected about uh, four to five companies. I have uh, have appeared on campus and I got rejected by many times. So I guess rejection gives me experience. Sorry. I didn't give any mock interviews. I mean the and the interview the return the interview experience that is you know, that is available in the courses. Do you uh, did you go through all, all this? Uh, sorry. So the interview experience that that was given in the tri folder. All the, the all the courses you have in the in the courses you have. Did you go through all this? You yeah, I did through once, uh, but uh, yeah, I guess that they are pretty like. Pretty simple, pretty similar to what they ask in actual interview. So I guess they will be very helpful if someone is preparing, uh, like, uh, like very, uh, very uh, early at our at early stage. So I guess uh, go through multiple times those interviews. That will definitely boost up your confidence in actual interviews. Okay, sir. So can you summarize in the end that how the panel and the results have helped you in the going all through, going all through this process and get it? Uh, so like uh, all the panel members are very helpful and they do not uh, like they do not want you to get stressed out or get freaked out during the interview. So you need to be calm and you need to like you have studied everything right. So you you just need to uh show them what you what you have uh, what you have in your inside your brain. So everything is everything will happen right. So. Sir, uh, sir, my, my, sorry, sir, this is my, not the last question, sir, but, uh, uh, but uh, my, the question is, next is, uh, what would you, do, what would you recommend uh, if you, as a, for the aspiring final year B.Tech student or the first year M.Tech students who are watching this video, because the main audience are only these, sir. If it, like, what's your inspiration line, sir? Okay, I will say, I will recommend, uh... Like I got this uh, opportunity on campus, so I will say all the students who are uh, studying in their college right now, they are in final year, third year, or second year. Like if you if you have made up your mind that you want to do, you want to start your career in a correlated profile, then then uh, like join uh, VLSI for all. So that will be very helpful uh, in your journey. So I will uh, definitely recommend VLS for for all. So the, so we are in the end of the end of this video interview. And before wrapping up the interview, sir, could you give up some motivation tips to our viewers so that after watching this, they feel more motivated to work harder. Okay, so uh, so don't get stressed. Okay, uh, you have you have all uh, bright minds. So just be relaxed, be cool, uh, be happy. Do not forget your health. Uh, invest in your health, uh, and uh, uh, you will get what you uh, want. So that's all. I will say. Thank you, sir. Thank you for doing this. Sir. It means a lot. So thank, thank you, Vishal, for having me.